Good evening. I'm actually doing a uh, evening pour today. Well, it's not a pour. It's just another little experiment again. Um, just on this small canvas, which is... Let me tell you the size. It's only a small one. It's um, 20 centimetres by 25, which is 7.9 by 9.8 inches. Um, so I'm ju just doing a test on this little canvas. And it's making your own cells with the syringe. So going to... Um, I'm using the actual pre-made pouring paints just because it was easy and it you know I, um, I have some still left but I am still going to use the white it's going to be a very simple black and white unless I get all um, excited and go and add another color but at this moment in time well this is actually dark navy so it will be the dark navy base anyway the first thing I'm going to do is pour well you could make up some of the white any white in any paint with your normal pouring medium because I believe it's got to be quite kind of runny-ish but still not too runny so I'm going to use the white from my Montmartre paint I'm just going to pour some into this cup okay so always remember with your Montmartre paint to really give it a good shake this uh, pre-made pouring paint um, so I've just got that ready there. Uh, going to just coat my canvas. Just hoping that I've got enough paint here <laughs> in this navy. So it's going to be a very simple because it's a, another mad scientific experiment into the paint world. And it has been done before. I'm not claiming that it hasn't been done before and it's mine, it's been done before. It's definitely been done, it's all been done before. Probably could do with more of this because I wanted it bit more fluid but that's all I've got at the moment so I'm, I'm not going to worry about the sides at this point because it is a test um, and obviously if it, it goes all right then I'll do a bigger version of it but I just wanted you guys to be with me on this my little crazy test I'm going to get a bit more paint out of there I should have mixed a little bit more this is the navy that I did make out of the pouring paints but this is kind of really do think I need more I do need more so while I need more I'm going to show you how I make that navy that's getting a bit glubby so I'll show you how I make that navy it's just okay this is with the pre-made pouring paint because I'm not sure if they've got a navy as dark as that so what I used was the okay, the um, ultramarine, ultramarine blue. Can't say that either, and I haven't even had a drink yet. I must try and show you the really big spider that's out here with me in um, my studio, garage slash studio. So that's the ultramarine blue, and I suppose I've put about one centimetre in there. So I'm going to just add to that black, and it's a blob. It's a, it's a, what you call it? Universal, universal measurement. measurement. Yeah, a jelly universal measurement. So I've just put a few blobs of black in there, and then I will add sometimes if you only add the black and the blue it can go sort of a greyish but if you add a dark green it, you get that lovely navy so just a few blobs universal measurement blobs 
it isn't as dark as my first one so then the only thing I would need to do is just add a bit more black so that makes a really dark navy and that's a little bit thicker than this the one that I had pre-mixed so I might just add for the sake of this a little bit of water um, I just add a little bit of water that I keep in this container. Yeah, that's fine. All good. So that's the Montmartre pouring paints that I'm still having lots of fun with. Uh, and I believe it's uh, becoming available in the US. I think if anyone's in Europe and United Kingdom, and especially Australia, you can get them off the online Australian online art site that I use and there um, click the drop down box on my video and their uh, link to their website is there and you can order from there okay, here we go so that's come a really dark navy let's give it a really good mix I'm not adding any silicon or anything to this because I'm doing a technique where it's looking like you've created cells but it's you they're, they're manufactured cells I suppose now you know I like to use my fingers but I'm you know being very posh here and using the spatula Just trying to get a little bit more of an even surface over this probably shouldn't be so worried about it because it is an experiment but I just try my best that's all we can all do is try our best okay hopefully it self levels hopefully now the next bit to this exciting see that might be a little bit thick the white just tiny little bit of water in there because I did get it directly from the um, small ones the bottle so I've got no silicon in any of these it's exactly how it comes out of the bottle but this is a different style so I have this little 10 mil syringe so obviously it hasn't got the needle on it doesn't need the needle on I'm gonna I might move that out the way so you can see me do it that's very highly pigmented paint so really good that you do wear gloves because it really does stay in your fingernails or on your fingers for a long time so I'm just going to put the syringe into the cup and draw some of the paint up simple pimple so simple pimple hmm probably way too much but we'll go with it I'll just wipe the end of my syringe keeping it clean oh it's actually already okay that in the frame yeah all right so I'm I mean I might end up just doing one big splodge on this so I'm just hoping and praying that okay <laughs> The dogs weren't in here, but they've come in now. And what they're barking at, or growling at, is a huge big huntsman spider that's on my wall in here. I'll try and take a... Oh, okay, we can have some... Oh, See, I'm getting too... Not patient enough. It's supposed to be a really slow process. Like... Oh, I'm really um, stuffing this one. <laughs> Maybe I can do bigger cells. It's it's kind of a thing that's making your own cells. It's just leaving a little bit of space with the the negative space in the black. I suppose it's better if you kind of create some um, instead of 
I suppose you could do it in the circles and just round and round and round. But kind of looks like these groovy cells have come out of a pore, but so it's like fake cells, aren't they? <laughs> run out of paint so I could suck a bit more up. You're sending me Dotty. Like oh okay Jilly likes it. Jilly likes it. So there you go people. So I'm just sucking some more of the white up through my syringe which I've not got much left. Oh, excuse the noises that's the syringe. Okay I'll just keep it clean at the bottom so as you know it's always fun to try different things and if they don't turn out then that's that's all good at least you give it a go oh you can slow down I think it would probably be more manageable with like a bigger syringe in your hand like you can have more control over it but it'd have to be I must have picked up some of the blue from somewhere because it's coming out in a little bit in the white. It's actually quite relaxing so it would be fun doing dif getting different coloured syringes and doing these all over a net big negative space kind of looks a bit like Aboriginal art isn't mm -hmm. it um, what do I do to kind of just want to throw off the well this is becoming like it's just on tea time here in Australia so we get all the wildlife start cooing and carrying on I hear this bird out there making a weird sound. And you're not wildlife, Gus. You're <laughs> yep. Some kind of false cells. Well, oh, bit close. I mean, I could either do one of two things here: is just leave it as it is, or I could see if I tilt it, what kind of effect it would have. I think that's. So what I might do is take a photo of it now, without the, without touching it, and um. No, I can't turn the light off to do it because it would be too dark. So we might get the glare back, but I don't want to do it with me. I'm just going to take a photo above it. It's just so I've got a record of what it looks like before. And because this is an experiment, I will try and tilt it, see what it comes out like. I mean, I might completely stuff it up. I might not. So just put my glove back on which is always a task when you so obviously I probably would have been better with a little bit more paint under there for them to roll around a bit more maybe and I mean this remembering this is just a, an experiment so you would obviously when you really think about you were going to do it because you like this style is then think about like the composition, what you really want to do to make it all work. So this is the cell, manufactured cells. So we call them false cells. But I'm gonna I'm just slightly tipping it. And just see what they look like being spread around a bit just trying probably really slowly probably
probably would have been nice to have done the cells in the one corner. Mm. But anyway, this, yeah, it's just, um, like I said, I'm just giving it a bit of an experiment, just in the na dark navy and white, just, I mean, you can do this with all the different colours. But the kind of cells are will stretch out of shape if I do much more. But... Would you not add another colour? Yeah, I could add an, I could definitely add another colour, but I just wanted to particularly do a black and white. So I think if you move it slowly, they're kind of turning out a bit like pebbles now. So, but I know if you sort of tilted this real quick, you would lose the shape of cells and they'd end up big stretched out. But I mean, that still might look nice, really stretched out over the canvas. But not if they break up. I wouldn't believe they would look as good. So I mean, you could do this, those um, injections all over the canvas, mm -hmm. different colors. You could do waves, you could do circles. So it's just another little thing to try. Interesting to hear your comments if they're positive and if not, then move on. I'm not interested. Um, I mean, it doesn't look anything special, but you know, there's a lot of people out there that like and love plain. And I mean, as you've seen, if some of you have seen a recent piece of art that sold at Sotheby's that just looked like a big white canvas I think it sold for 50 million dollars it was just white absolutely nothing on it so very strange is art <laughs> interpretation of art by different people so I know it doesn't look very exciting but it's just um, practice run um, and next time I will do it and get because that's the only syringe I have at the moment Next time I will get a few syringes and I'll try the different colours to do, even if it's something that looks like the Aboriginal art. So that's just a quick little video for you. I will uh, give you a bit more of a close-up. Okay. Thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, if you haven't, could you subscribe? But more than anything, if you... Uh, like to watch my channel then that's wonderful uh, leave me a comment and a thumbs up that would be nice and until next time see you then just come back for a second because we've um, decided that between me and Jilly that we're going to put some gold injections I've cleaned the syringe I'll just make sure I've got nothing, no water in it I've only got one, so I'm, you know, quite sort of therapeutic doing that syringe injection. So I'm going to buy myself some more syringes and I'm going to suck the, I'm going to use gold. So I'm sucking the, um, again, I'm using the Montmartre pre-made that their gold is so beautiful um, for this. But you could use any paints as long as they're fluid liquid or you know with pouring medium or some description to make them not gluggy so I'm gonna have a go with the gold I mean it might not work and it might oh okay ah oh poo bums I'll have to edit that <laughs> okay that was a blob, so I feel all oh, this paint's a little bit thick because I can feel it's taking a little bit more to push it out so you can't get the control, control yeah. So I should have added a little bit of water to it. Are you going to put any gold on top of any of the white or not? I don't know, I could do, I'll try it for sure. just wanted to... Oop. Shouldn't have done that. I mean, I can see what gold looks like in the other circles. Put 
I think I would prefer to keep them separate. Or you could just do a few. Mm. I mean, you could fill up the whole canvas mm -hmm. with... I mean, you can do mm -hmm. these more um, classic colours of the using the metallics with it all being metallics instead of my favourites, the real bright, or a canvas full of all the bright colours in the the colour injection would be nice. Made a big mess there, but that's okay. It's an experiment. Mm. Maybe have some more gold on that side as if it's going all that way. Which way? What do you reckon? Just put a few more gold actually in the white cells. Just on that one sort of side. Yeah. Kind of look like rows of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> They don't have to be in the centre, do they? No. Okay. Just random. Ooh, it's a bit much. Funny as it seems, that people that are minimalistic, I absolutely know that this... Oh, okay. This Something like this would sell. Oh, I think it's beautiful. Just gonna just try in this corner on its own. I just want to see what the gold cells come out mm, like on their oh. own. Oh. oh my god, I've not got control of my syringe. Jeez, oops. Oh, I'm popping here, there, and everywhere. <laughs> I'm really <laughs> stopping this one off. Well, like I said, it's a it's a experiment, mad scientific experiment here. <laughs> oh, that's really stuffed it up. <laughs> that's all cool. Oh, I've got messy with that. That probably would need scraping. Is a little bit different, something different. I'm going to leave it, I'm not going any further with it. Leave it for you guys to decide. I'll give you a bit more of a close up. Yeah, the, the gold where I've blobbed it, it's gone a bit crazy. What I need to do is, again, I should have added one drop of water to that gold to make it more uh, liquidy to go through the syringe. Thanks for joining me. Bye.